What's up, everyone? We are live at 5 at Broadway.com. It is Friday, October 26th. I'm Paul Wontor. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And over there is Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Hey, it's Halloween. This is like the weekend you're supposed to go out in costume, this right? Is I don't do weekend. it. No. Yes, are you are you going Halloween. out in costume this weekend? Um, maybe. Yeah. I, I might be seeing some scary movies on Saturday. Mm. Oh, I'm sure you, you have a whole thing planned. <laughs> I bet you have a Netflix themed <laughs> Halloween costume. You know what? You might be right. I watched The Haunting of Hill House last night because of you. Yeah, how, I watched episode 1. How great was and it? And I got into yeah, it. Yeah, it gets better and All better. Right. More importantly, yes, who's our guest importantly. today? Kate Reinders. Yay! One of our favorites. She's back on Broadway in beautiful The, the Carol, Carol King, King musical. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to her first today's top five. It's a case of the old switcheroo. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? You're, so, you're making it sound so exciting. It is exciting. It's, you know, it's pretty exciting. So there are two shows coming to the boards very soon. One of them, Hillary and Clinton. This is based on the 2016 election of Hillary Clinton. You have Lori Metcalf playing Hillary. You have John Lithgow playing Bill. Hey, Bill and Hill went to see Bruce last night. Springsteen. Did they they oh, were at Bruce Springsteen. Look at that. Oh, they love to go there. to the theater. So that show, originally announced for the Court Theater, is now moving to the Golden Theater here on Broadway. And the show that was originally supposed to be in the Golden, King Lear with Glenda Jackson, which we're excited for, that is going to be in the Court Theater. So now. what does so, all this mean for fans? Nothing really. All of the dates are the same. Everyone's just still go to coming. a different address, just, different yes, side of a Broadway. Different address, yes. right? Yeah. Different side of Broadway. Exactly. Some deal was sort of struck. They trade theaters. So um, here's what else you need to know. Joe Mantello is directing Hillary and Clinton, and it will it will open on April 18th. And Sam Gold is directing King Lear, and that will open on April 4th. Everything's still the same, just a different house. Okay, and that's all. Yeah. Everybody's talking about Leighton. That yes, they good, are. Yeah, they are. Good, nice. Okay, Late and Williams. <laughs> I finally saw everybody talking about Jamie in the movie theater. The you other did. Night. I was going to say you can go see. Yeah, the it was a lot of right fun, now. and the real Jamie was there. The real Jamie. Yes, was there. everybody. Yes. And I thought it was the actor, and I was like, "Why is he here? Doesn't he have a show?" I was confused. But <laughs> everybody's talking about Jamie as the big London smash hit musical. Yep. Michelle Visage is in it now That's of right. RuPaul's Drag That's Race right. fame. That's right. She doesn't play Jamie. No. Um, but, but Leighton Williams is taking over the role of Jamie starting January 28th. It's a musical about, uh, it's based on a documentary. That's why mm -hmm. I said the real Jamie. It's based on a documentary about uh, Jamie. And he wanted to be a drag queen in high school. And that's what it's about. So, yeah. of course, you would love it. And Michelle Visage, I'm sure, loves it. Anyway, uh, John McCree is currently playing the role. And he will play his final performance January 26th. And then... Uh, Layton will start January 28th and he was previously seen on the BBC's Beautiful People and Bad Education and he was Billy Elliot. Oh, that's why I recognized that's him right. from. Right, yes. Yeah, that's what I recognized we, him from. Yeah. That. Uh, Billy Elliot, the car man, Rent and Hairspray. Anyway, so... Uh, and the promo photo of him is super cute. He looks great. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, it's going to keep no. going. This show is going to keep going. Yeah, that's it. Another Tony nominee is joining the neighborhood. Not just any. Tony nominee, Carmen Cusack, a name that is revered around here. She is joining You Are My Friend, which is the film about Mr. Rogers. You have Tom Hanks, who yeah. plays Mr. Rogers in the film, and Carmen what Cusack. What do you think about the casting of Tom Hanks? As Mr. Rogers? Yeah. You know what? I have to be honest. Initially, I didn't know, but then right. they released that photo uh -huh. of him on set as Mr. Rogers, uh -huh. and... And you know it was my fault. It's Tom Hanks. What, what were we? Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks. He's, okay. he's the everyman. Right. Uh, so Carmen Cusack is going to be playing the show's longtime producer Margie Whitmer, um, and this will, um, of course, she got a Tony nomination for Bright Star. Tom Hanks also got a Tony nomination for Lucky Guy. Um, you may also have seen Carmen Cusack in South Pacific or Wicked on the Road or Off Broadway in Carrie. The movie will be directed by Marielle Heller. And it will be opening in theaters around October of next year. Cool. So, very exciting. Congrats. Good for you, Carmen Cusack. And new casting has been agrees. announced for this off-Broadway family drama. So, yeah. So this. So Jane Anderson wrote this play, Mother of the Maid, mm -hmm. and Glenn 
close, who's about to get a lot of uh, Oscar buzz, right? For her. Yes, for the wife. The wife, the, her right? Big so movie that's gonna. Fall. She's gonna be a bit. She's an Oscar front runner, mm -hmm. but right now she's off Broadway, so that's exciting. Yeah, you know, she's always bouncing. Makes the campaigning a little difficult, though. You oh. know, you gotta fly back and forth. Yeah, yeah or so. it just makes you seem really fancy and highbrow. Yeah, or maybe like, that's your I'm own busy. <laughs> like, oh, I'm off Broadway <laughs> right now, so. <laughs> Come see me Come in see me. Mother of the Maid, which is about Joan of Arc's mother. And That's she right. plays Joan of Arc's mother. And now uh, Kate Jennings Grant is leaving the production. And who's joining? Kelly Curran starts October 26th. She was on Broadway in Present Laughter. And uh, so welcome welcome to the company. And the, the show was recently extended through December 23rd. And then Glenn Close will have a nice Christmas. And then she's going to campaign. <laughs> and then she's going to win that Oscar. She's going to win the Oscar. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Win an Oscar. Yes, yes. She's never it. won. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's, it's wrong. The Academy. <laughs> Get it together. And this heart is still beating. Um, I know you and I are really big fans. So I haven't seen The Heart of Rock and Roll, but it was a huge hit over you know in who saw it? Who did see it? I saw it. You saw it. And you wrote this great piece about it today, about what we're discussing here. It still aims to come to the Great White Way. It was a record-breaking hit at the Old Globe. Of course, it had, you know, it had Matt Doyle, it had Katie Rose Clark in it. It's based on the music of Huey Lewis and the news. It's not the story of Huey Lewis. It's so. not about Huey Lewis's life. No. That's every other this musical. Is, this is not beautiful, the Carol King musical. Based this on is, a songbook. This is this is more like in the style of Mamma Mia. It's, yes. it's an original story story using the songs it's a lot of fun i really had a great time right. gordon greenberg directed it um and, and they want to come here and huey lewis lauren lataro uh, yes yeah, so i interviewed huey lewis who i'm a little obsessed with um <laughs> and uh and the producer tyler mitchell who also co-wrote he like came up with the story they kind yep. of i guess huey lewis said people have always been coming to me wanting to make a musical of my stuff he was on Broadway, by the way, in Chicago. That's right. Like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he liked the story they presented him with. So, um, yeah, so hopefully, so they're going to do another workshop of the show in January in New York. And then hopefully. Eyes are set. Hopefully it'll start beating on Broadway. That's right. Can't wait. That's right. And Matt Doyle and Katie Rose Clark were fantastic. They're both just the best. And, you know, Katie Rose Clark, did you know it's Wicked Month? It is <laughs> Wicked Month. That's why Next we have. Next week <laughs> is the Wicked <laughs> Anniversary we've been talking That's about right. for about eight months. It feels that um, way, but it's wicked. We love wicked. And yeah. you know, Katie Rose Clark is a former Glinda. You of know who else is? I knew that. Who else? Kate Rinders. That's right. You know right. who's here today? Kate, Kate Rinders. Rinders. And uh, I have taken up enough of her You have time. a nice weekend. Thank I hope you, you have so a good much. time at the scary movies, thank and you. I hope your Netflix inspired costume works out. <laughs> thank you so and much. Thank you for the tip on Hill House. You're very welcome. Uh, very hey, Caitlin, tell us more about today's guest. Yes. Guys, today uh, we have Kate Reiners in the studio. She is back on Broadway and beautiful, the Carol King musical. She has previously appeared on Broadway in Something Rotten, Wicked, Gypsy, Good Vibrations, Into the Woods, and a lot more. She's done quite a lot. Her screen credits include Ugly Better, Sherry, and Work It. She also has a really great band called Tasty Skank, and they have a song called McConaughey Day, and you need to listen to it right now uh follow her watch this right now. yeah watch this right now <laughs> and follow her on social oh. media at kate rinders oh, and leave all of your questions for her in the comments down below please welcome kate and paul hi hey, hey. so here's what i love about you there's a lot of things i love about give you give me the list yeah i'm gonna make sure we get good audio on you Great. uh so you you came and did we we, we did show people yeah that was when you were fun. in something rotten mm -hmm. right yeah the big mm -hmm. smash hit something rotten you remember Porsche was fantastic you. and you brought booze of course I did. And donuts. You brought donuts and booze. Um, I love that about you. It's the only time I ever did an episode of show people drinking a little bit. That what I, is what does that say? I think it worked out. And then look what I you walked in with that. today. You walked in with <gasps> treats. Yay. This I is just how you are. Empty handed. You and Laura asked us. I mean, it's like it's a thing. Uh, and what do we have I, here? Really we have I some beautiful <gasps> Halloween themed. Uh, we don't need that. Scary Bye. good cupcakes. Oh, yummy. Yeah, we're going to eat, eat the... I'm going to eat the sugar thing on top. Can I have one on camera? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that yeah, okay? You can do or whatever do, you want. Do we have to like preserve them or something? Why? Um, they're actually really kind of... Yeah, they're, they're, they're really scary. They're really fun. So, oh, this... Okay. Look at so, this guy. I'm going to take this one. I just so, want this. How are you? You're back on Broadway. I'm good. I am good. Thank you. <laughs> you just joined the company. Have, oh, and I'm loving it. I mean, I... How long have you been there? Uh, it will be a week tonight. Right. Yeah, we got... Um, we're like, get Kate in immediately. <laughs> I maybe had a little bit of a heart attack um, going in so quickly because um, when you have a when you have a child, 
You have a child. I have a child. Luke. A young child. And 16 months. He is. I didn't he know that by heart. You should have said it right before we went on air. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not like you go home. I hope the and podcast listeners are enjoying the sound of us chewing on this the is ASMR. This is just one of right, those, like, sugar. It's a pink <laughs> so sugar. So, yeah, when you have a child, it's different. <laughs> everything's different. Uh, oh, yeah. It's just, um, it's, it's everything's better. Mm -hmm. But you're also tired. And you don't go home and, like, learn your lines. You try to, but then you fall asleep. And then you wake <laughs> up at 5.45 in the morning because they're teething. Oh. And then. That's happening. But it's great. Um. My parents have come to town from Michigan oh. to help me take care of him. Awesome. They are wonderful. And um, the truth is, like, having a baby, I mean, I've heard you, I'm sure you've heard about Broadway baby mamas, mm -hmm. but, like, the village that is Broadway is the best village there, there, really is, a there is in the world. huge support system. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, so Luke has lots of aunties and uncles nice. and gunkles and... Um, <laughs> And Bob Lindsay and Christina Alabado watch him a lot. And I'm pretty sure he thinks Christina is Moana. So <laughs> when you do Moana on Broadway, Disney. So when you go into a, an already running hit, like Beautiful, the Carol King musical, um, please don't ever just say Beautiful. No, no, I, no. I, I prefer and the, the full title. Do, like, finger um, you haven't gone into a show in a while, actually. Yeah, and I've actually never been put in a show like this. Yeah, so talk about it. It's quick, right? It's quick. It, it's, you know... Eight days of rehearsal, but one day is seven days of rehearsal. And Carol right? Lindsay was, yeah. you'd replace Carol, Carol Lindsay, Lindsay. The uh, nicest yeah. person on earth. Yeah. Uh, and she was so good in it. Yeah. So they basically give you Cynthia a script. Wilde, you're playing. Yeah. Yes, I am yeah, not sorry. Carol. No way. Just kidding, the facts could I be A lot Carol. of Glindas play that role. I think it's, it's because become a Glinda it thing. Is, yeah. Um, well, first of all, there are a lot of Glindas. Oh, as that's you true. know, it's there just a are a lot of we're now just there are a lot of Glindas. Um, <laughs> but no, it's a it's a fun, sassy. Um, yeah. Funny part. Sidekicky. So, yeah. Fun. Perfect for you. I'm, I'm having a good time. Have you eyed this part in the past? Have you thought, like, I could play that. That'd be good for me. Uh, I like that. No, I mean, I got the audition for it and then went to see it and was like, oh, yes, that would be great. So Good costumes, um, too. Oh, I have the best costumes. Yeah. Yeah. The passage of time, you can tell by what I'm wearing. And I have really cute Meaning wigs. Meaning the character goes through. The character. The yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Like, you know, it's like our lives and, and just watch my outfits to be like, oh, this is now the 70s. Right. Um, and I have cute wigs. Yeah. And cute so shoes. How long was the rehearsal? Like, did you did they just throw you seven up Seven days. There? Oh, yeah. seven days. Okay. But I mean. It's exactly seven days. Yeah. A week. But I mean, yeah. And not with the whole cast. You just do it once with the whole cast, right? Yeah. Kind yeah. of. That's just, that's how Broadway goes. You know what? It's, we're professionals. Yeah. We're professional heart attack havers. <laughs> 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 um, but it all worked out. Yeah. I'm still here. Out. Yeah. You and know. you like singing that music? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I i mean, I know all of it. I totally, like, listen to the oldies station on Apple TV and <laughs> always knew all that stuff growing up. So I uh -huh. love it. Yeah. So this and Abby's amazing. Abby and Mueller. Abby Mueller. Mm -hmm. And um, all, everybody. Yeah. So it's a nice family over there. Yeah. Ben Jacoby is my boyfriend. Oh. And he, has, he <laughs> has actually saved my life. Or, or the show. He's saved the show when... He's like, Kate, Kate, come on. Now we're going. We go now. So, Oh, so he kind of grabs you and says, this yeah, is the part where we exit. And he keeps me from getting hit by scene, <laughs> scenery still. But I'm figuring it out. Yeah. So soon he'll be able to go back to just doing his job and not babysitting me. Right. Um, last year, you were a standby for Meteor Shower, right? I was. Yeah. How was the, how, and that was very soon after you made a baby. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It was, was four months after or something. Were you covering both? Yes, I covered uh, Amy both Schumer Amy and Schumer and Laura Benanti. Did and, you go um, on? I did go I on. You did, I went yeah. on for went on for Laura, and then a couple days later, I went on for Amy. Was that fun? It was fun. Yeah. But like I said, we're professional heart attack havers. So you made out with yourself because those characters had that fun scene. So yeah. You got to do it from both sides. Yeah, and there was actually we had to cancel the show because they were both out, and that mm. would have really that been really me weird. making out <laughs> with myself. <laughs> and so then I guess they decided that wasn't a good idea. You were like, I'm a professional, but I can't. But I mean, roles. I can sort of, <laughs> but yeah. give me a puppet or something. But that, no, that must have been cool though to be oh, to great. be around those people and Steve oh, yeah. Martin and I mean everybody like A list. Yeah, a -list. Jerry Zachs. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's cool that you've gotten to do all those different things. Like you've been able to do a lot of different. You know, like start. You know, you were the you were in Tom Sawyer, correct? <laughs> 
Am I correct? The Adventures yes, you of are Tom correct. Sawyer. Yes, I understood. It was a classic Kristen Bell. at the Mid Scoff. Mm -hmm. it, it was a swing. It was a good one. It was. It was a hit. And then Good Vibrations. Oh, that also that was, a hit. That was a Beach Boys musical. Mm -hmm. Everybody, mm -hmm. it previewed. It changed a lot in previews. If yeah. I remember, I remember there was there were Beach Balls. Oh yeah, there, yeah. It, yeah. It was. Those stayed and though. I mean, oh, surfboards. and those stayed. Oh. I'm pretty sure they didn't change those because those were great. Yeah. No, no, but that was really fun, <laughs> and and I was really young. You know, it was great. Yeah. Uh, we have to talk about Wicked, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. You don't mind talking about Wicked, No, right? I love Wicked. Actually, I remember... I'm bummed I didn't get to do that concerty thing because I was rehearsing. Oh, the concerty thing. The concerty thing that's going to be great. <laughs> it looks great. Uh, we could just Photoshop your head up there on that photo, the group photo of everybody on Thank stage. You. will you? Yeah, we'll Photoshop okay. Kate Ryder's head He just head said here that he will, so now Your he makeup always looks great, so you'll look, you'll look like you're up there with no, him. I, no, you, you can airbrush it if you want. <laughs> uh, I remember, actually, that you... Didn't you go to London? I remember when it was first going to London, you were what at that event. What is your brain that is like this amazing... I was amazing, there, because like, I remember seeing you there, because I was in London, and they were doing like a launch. Yes, it was me and Shoshana. Right, you and And they Shoshana flew us went, there, right. and we were Shoshana like... Bean. Shoshana Bean. and we, with the jet lag, or I don't know what like time it was for us, and I remember they were like, we have a hair and makeup person for you, but we couldn't find them, and we were just <laughs> sort of like, what is this? Where are we? It was like but a press really launch cool. for the show yes, in London. It was a press and you sang for good, correct? Yeah, of if course I remember we did. correctly. Mm -hmm. Of course you did. That's what you and do. And I'm sure I did popular and she did Of course. Define Gravity. How many uh, alphabas? Who were your alphabas? Shoshana? I only had no. I only had Anna Gasteyer oh. and Eden Espinoza. That was it. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. You were you were like early on. I was so early. what's it like to see the show like still going and all and like you said, there's so many Glindas. Uh, like I think it is uh, uh, makes me feel old. What is the nicer word for that? You look fantastic. What's the euphemism? Stop. Um, thank you. I mean, I was, I was a little. I was younger then. I was young. That's why I wasn't scared. I think. Uh huh. Do you get scared now? Is it different? It's different. But now I'm so tired that there's only a certain level of scared that can happen. But mm. um, but no. But I <laughs> too tired to be scared. Too tired to be scared. But I think it actually helps as an actor because you show up to these auditions and you're just like, you know what? This is all I can give you at this time. Mm -hmm. And they think that you're just like really relaxed mm -hmm. and you don't care. Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, no, I'm actually just exhausted. Right. But um. So what is your favorite thing about Luke? Um, his laugh, I would say probably. And right now he's like talking in his own language, That's which cool. is the best thing yeah. ever. Although I am starting to decipher it. So yeah, it's crazy. in a way I'm like, no, but wait, but once you start speaking English, <laughs> then like this cute alien language will be gone. Um, ha do you sing to him? Of course. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. What do you sing to him? All sorts of things. Uh -huh. uh, I sang, I sang a lot of beautiful to him. Yeah. I actually auditioned for it a year ago or over a year ago. Okay. So he was like, a couple months old when I he was like in that little swingy thing and I would like practice and he'd be <laughs> like uh, and I and then like didn't do anything. He was a blob back then. So in a way, I sort of feel like he, well now when I sing it, he maybe remembers it and he actually sings with me in the stroller. Like I was strolling him and I was practicing my harmonies for Aww. You've Got a Friend, and so I was like. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call. And he was like, ah, ah, <laughs> and loud, loud. <laughs> um, but that he doesn't get from me. <laughs> but yeah, but he's he's great. Has he seen you in your wig? Has he been to the theater? Or? He hasn't been to the theater Not yet because yeah. I haven't made my parents do the trek. That'll be weird. The subway trek. That'll be kind of weird, right? With the, like to see you in your dress. I, yeah, I don't know what he'll think. I don't, know. I don't know. He's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look He might be like, Mom, it's not a good look. Who knows? I'll know what he means. <laughs> uh, hey, Caitlin. Caitlin. Oh, wait, are there Halloween costumes? I'm sorry, I forgot that. Oh, I, no, I need to get him a Halloween costume. Does anybody have any suggestions? Um, um, Netflix themes. <laughs> um. A pumpkin. <laughs> um, Evan Todd has a really good costume that he's gonna oh, he I, I'm not gonna tell what it is he, he has a costume he has an awesome costume that Bobby Pierce made for him oh that I think is Tony nominated be... costume designer Bobby Pierce oh you Taboo? don't mess around Do you, exactly when you're on broad um, away is, you got the uh, best of the best is he fully uh, covered I can't tell <laughs> because I actually don't historically know. that's not always the case <laughs> why why would he why should he why be? would you I wouldn't cover. Um, no uh, yeah costume for Luke yeah. Okay. If you think of it, let All me right. know. Well, whatever. Hey, Caitlin, do you have any questions from oh, the yeah. fans? Definitely. Oh, yay. Yes. So Alec asks, what is your favorite Carol King song? 
Oh. That's top. Um, well, right now I'm really loving when she sings uh, It's Too Late. And we're sitting there in the bitter end watching it. Together. That's a club. That's not like. Well, yeah. it was a club. It's, right. it's over now, right? Is it gone? Wait, no, no, no. The bitter end's there. It's the other one. It's CBGB's. Yeah, bottom line's done. gone. Bottom line, bitter end? I don't know. I bitter end is still there. Okay. I don't bottom know what's line. happening. Okay. We're not, we're not cool. But that's your favorite song right now. That's a nice right now, dramatic moment. Yeah. Yeah. She's also so good. Abby's so good. Yeah. She's such a good actress. Cool. I'm trying to not ruin it. <laughs> um, sorry. Continue. Thank yes. you, Alex. <laughs> Next question. Goal. Don't ruin it for Abby Don't Mueller. Don't ruin the show when Abby is so perfect and wonderful. I love that. Uh, so Scott asks, have you ever seen a role in a play that caused you to really want to play it? Oh. oh, do I really want to play it? Um, I mean, like, see a play, and then how about a play mm. or a musical? What yeah, we can, let's open it up. No, 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 but but I can tell you, like, my favorite things that I've seen that I was like, wow. Um, I saw Judith Light do Wit, <gasps> that I was like, wow, yeah. what? Um, I don't, I mean... It was really fun to do Meteor Shower, honestly. Mm. I'm glad I got to go on. Although, at the same time, I'm, I wish I hadn't gone on. <laughs> what do you mean? Because when you go out there and you're like, I'm sorry I'm not Amy Schumer. <laughs> like, it's okay. <laughs> but it's not, not everybody's favorite. Okay, sorry, continue. Did that help answer it? Okay, good. Yeah, sure. It did. It totally did. Uh, so Daniel asks, what is your vocal warm-up like? Oh, well, right now I'm doing my current uh, my current recording from Liz Kaplan. Mm. And, um, she's a legend. She is. She's the best. Uh, and it's sort of a, I'm doing a yagai o ya a lot of yagai o ya and it's all about loosening your tongue within your jaw. yagai o ya Wow. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Have you met Wasn't Cynthia Wilde yet? Has no, she come around? No. Does she, does she like show up? Does I mean, I think that she's like, this show's been around for 2,000 performances. <laughs> I can't meet every Cynthia Wilde. Yeah, she's like, now she's like, it's like Linda's. It's like you with now Linda's. all the Linda's like are so many all of them. Cynthia's. <laughs> Maybe like in 15 years, she'll come to the concert and then I can be a backup Cynthia. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I love that. So, uh, to Zip, Zip, not sure how to pronounce it, sorry. He asks, oh, what is? what was your favorite ad lib in Something Rotten, if you can remember? If there oh. ever was a favorite joke or ad lib that you or the cast did. Oh, I'm, sure, I'm sorry. I'm sure there was one, but probably anything Brooke said, mm. really. Oh, I can't wait to see him in the prom. Oh, my God. It's such, have you seen it at all? I saw, like, a lab yeah. of it yeah. way back when when we were still doing Something yeah, Rotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I saw the little Broadway, dot com, Broadway con thing. Yeah. Sorry, you're yeah, Broadway.com. It's, okay, it's, okay. okay, like it's a common mistake. Uh, yeah. And but he's going to be, oh, well, everybody is. It's Everybody's like a awesome. Big, Beth Lovell was here yesterday. It's, oh, it's like such great. She's the best. Yeah, yeah, you worked with and, her too. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, and the, Angie. The, the, and uh, Chris. Angie Schwar. I, I know. Angie I know. With Chris. I'm obsessed. And Chris Sieber, I'm obsessed with this cast. Listen, I've been around a long time. <laughs> I love that. Cool. But yeah, that's the, that, that's Brooks is um, Brooks is. I'm sure performing with somebody like that is you're always sort of on your game, right? I mean, you like because he came out in those crazy getups mm -hmm. in something rotten, and well, he just he's just the funniest person alive. It, is but that, he, is that but he's also title? yeah, I think I, I think so okay. maybe mm -hmm. um, TFA, T, yeah. He but he but he's also a kind comic. So mm. he won't make jokes at your expense. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure he made a lot That's of That's a good tip, kids. Kids out there that are funny. Yes. Don't, don't do it at Be self-deprecating all you want, but don't be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm teaching Luke every morning. <laughs> I love that. Oh. Okay, let's do one more question. Okay, okay. Okay. So what is it like going into a show where you're playing a real person oh, yeah. instead of more a made pressure. Up character. I think, right? I mean, I, that's how I feel. Like I want to, I want to be awesome for her, so that people come and they think, oh, Cynthia Wiles, awesome. Now, wait. Other than Glinda, have you ever played a real person? You see what I did there? Um, <laughs> Gypsy, but you didn't, you didn't meet her either. Nope, didn't meet her. <laughs> um, You'd be a good Mama Rose. Would you ever want to do Mama Rose? 
it's true. I didn't, I'll do Mama Rose. I'm into like I different. I love different different versions. Yeah. I mean, not yet, but I'm just saying. Yeah, like sometimes, sometimes in my little fantasy world, I think about like if I had like taken the different path, right? And if I had stayed in Michigan, and if I had done theater, like for my fun passion instead mm -hmm. of for my career, right. then sure, I'm like, oh yeah. Then I maybe could have like played Mama Rose. Yeah. Like maybe I could have done all the big roles that I'll never play. But meaning because when you're on a more professional track, you you're you're a type. Is that what you mean? Oh yeah, you're a type, and and it's you but know you're smaller. Funny. People think of you as funny. You're funny. You are funny. <laughs> Some so don't. But that's, so, yeah. that's like um, that's that's sort of your yes, brand. But I'm funny. I'm blonde. My voice is high. Basically, basically, if you can't get Kristen Chenoweth, maybe you'll come and look at me. But the point is, if if that's not her type thing, it's not going to be mine either. But see, she could do Mama Rose. That would be very interesting. Right. And then that means you can, I then guess. Then I at least could then stand the by her like, you since know I'm really good at that it? now. Kate Reiner. <laughs> or then, no, but I would like to be one of the strippers. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's easy. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, please, type. No, just we could just do that number and on this set. We'll you do, and me. Gotta have a and gimmick. Caitlin, let's go. We'll, we'll do it in <laughs> Right now. Wait, which one are you? Uh, really, I mean. Oh, you have to be Tessie Tur, I think. I guess so. Yeah, you're Tessie. But yeah. I guess so. But you want to be yeah. who do you want to be? You want to be Mazeppa. Mazeppa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're so Mazeppa. <laughs> On that note. What else? Hey, I right, good guys, Halloween guys, costumes, totally. by the way. Mazeppa, good Halloween costumes. Oh, there's one for Luke. Luke Mazeppa. <laughs> and he'll be like, nah. With the horn. With the horn. Mazeppa plays the horn. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I need to go check out that beautiful. The Carol King musical. I haven't seen Abby Mueller yet, so I should come oh, see the two. Oh, you really yeah, should. Yeah, I should come She's, see. I should like come I see said, brilliant. At the Steven Sondheim Theater. Plus, uh, then we can hang out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you going to bring me cupcakes? I guess I'm going to have to. <laughs> Something. Yeah, yeah, he is, isn't he? <laughs> Kate, it's always uh, delightful to see you, so thank you. It's delightful to see you as Everyone well. go check out Beautiful. Hey, Caitlin. Kate, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Sure thing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in on Monday for a very wicked episode where we talk to Broadway's Elphaba and Glinda, Jessica Vosk, and Amanda Jane Cooper.